Hello, my name is Hamilcar Pereira, and I'm here to show you uh, masking with the transpose tool uh, for transposing your model. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a 3D layer so that I can uh, revert back uh, in case I do happen to make any mistakes along the way. It's a nice little backup. I don't have to undo and I don't have to worry about uh, making an irreversible mistake. So uh, the other thing that uh, you want to do when you're doing this process is go into Preferences Transpose menu and uh, set up your masking strength, masking blur strength. and. Uh, this will help you in control, having full control of how the tool works. Uh, when you do release the, the transpose mask tool, it uh, will automatically blur the mask and, uh, and setting this value uh, accordingly will, will help you in, in getting the results that you're looking for. So here I'm just going to hide one of my character's hands. And here I have the other hand. And to uh, quickly mask, I'll control click on the screen. Uh, so this uh, video, I thought I'd put it together. Uh, for those of you who know this already, that is fine. That's great that you know it. And uh, maybe there's somebody who doesn't know yet and uh, they may be able to benefit from this so so I decided to just put this uh, little video together so what I'm doing now is control click right on the joint right where you want uh, that joint rotation to be and then move in the in one direction will mask in one way if you move in the other direction it will mask in the other direction so that is a time saver, big time time saver. Uh, one click and you just masked nicely uh, where you want to make that deformation. So just to click and drag in the direction you want and you've done a nice mask. Now you just draw on your uh, rotate um, transpose tool and uh, and then from the fulcrum and to the to the lever there where you want to rotate from so you just make some fine adjustments there So, control click in the direction that you want, and there your mask is done. And for something like this, it really is a time saver because you don't have to fiddle around uh, with painting the mask on, getting it just right. You can just place it very, very precisely and uh, very quickly where you want it to get a nice deformation. So when you do the control click of the mask, uh, just make sure that you're on uh, on uh, rotate, scale, or move, so that the transpose tool is active. And now I think I will. I think you have the basic technique. I'm just gonna delete my 3D layer and. Uh, and revert it back to the way it was and I'll put some music on and uh, go through and do the whole process of posing the hand so you can watch and see the the whole process and I'll just go through and, and pose the whole hand for you okay thanks very much